Please give it up for Lisa Caswell, one of our sponsors. She runs Spencer Stewart. Good morning. Uh, thank you. I'd like to also introduce my colleague Suzanne Burns, who's here with me, and uh, Jeffrey Heiler, who could not be here this morning. And you might wonder why is an executive recruiting firm and a, uh, a leadership advisory company sponsoring an event like this? And most of it is, and Suzanne spent all of our time putting digital leaders into non-digital companies or helping software companies and other folks in technology think about how they approach the industrial sector. And so it's actually pretty important. And what we've come down to are three areas that are the, you know, what helps this digital transformation. You're gonna spend all day, Siemens and ITRON did a great job last night talking about uh, the transformation that's needed and the opportunity that's in front of everybody here. But it really comes down to three different areas. One is culture, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Two is the people, embracing diversity of thought, and I would only ask you to look around this room about what I mean by that. Um, and then structure, align matrices of you know, different processes. And the digital cultures, and this is a framework that Spencer Stewart uses, we have an online tool, it's an entire practice within our firm, um, leadership advisory services, specifically around culture. And what we find is the need and the shift is really up more towards this learning culture um, and uh, purpose driven. And natively in the industrial sector, we've been safety and results driven and very sort of by the book. And if you don't think that culture matters, it, through our studies and through, <clears throat> through others, the impact that it has on the top line, the bottom line, the ability to attract and retain talent is absolutely crucial. It is not the pay that causes everybody to move. It is the culture within the firms and that that you're inspiring. Something else that we're seeing is completely different titles. Suzanne and I actually get a chuckle of sort of the bingo game around what's the titles that are the, the, you know, the names. I think our favorite was Digital Driven Advantage Leader. I think it wrapped three times on the card. Um, but it also means you have to be open in your own organizations to what titles are going to be. They might be things that aren't there. You might be enabling some of your workers to create their titles based on the actual work that they're doing. But what this comes down to is thinking about your digital strategy as your differentiator, how you're actually marketing that to your customers, how you're marketing it to your employees, how you're marketing it to uh, the market. And then taking that the next step, and it's about speed, right, and agility, and building that into your organization. That means challenging your organizational structure and how you do things to actually allow for that speed. And of course, the only way that happens is starting at the top. It means at the board level, this needs to be the thought. The CEOs need to drive this. You as the leaders need to uh, continue to drive that uh, as well in your organization. And then digital is not just one title. It's not putting in a chief digital officer. It means in every single one of your organization, bringing in digital natives and capabilities, bringing in folks that are, have grown up only knowing digital, so a much younger audience um, within the organization, which will also bring diversity of thought. So it's diversity in both you know, gender and race and age levels that will continue to help with that. Um, and then it's how do you go forward and you know, implement that and decide that change is going to be a constant, that this is simply going to be what you do through the organization and accepting that the digital transformation will be a constant piece and you know, a constant uh, effort within the organization. Spencer Stewart helps it from a number of ways, from an organizational design standpoint, from leadership assessment and frankly readiness of executives and team members to decide how ready and open they are for change, to doing culture assessments, and then of course finding leaders. Normally plus and minus, we're one of the smaller well-known firms, but we tend to do plus and minus the CEO. So the board levels, the CEOs, and their direct reports um, for the majority. We do a fair amount of intellectual capital, not only on our own, but in partnerships. So if there's things that you're talking about today that you'd say, boy, I'd love to have a leadership perspective on this or a talent perspective, Suzanne and I would love to talk to you. And this is the team that really drives a lot of the technology innovation, especially in the energy and the utility practice. I think I did that in under five minutes. Yes, you did. <laughs> wow. Thank you.